Hi there. Um, it's been a couple weeks since I've worked on my truck. I've been thinking a lot about what I want to do with it. Um, and I have a pretty clear idea of the direction I want to go with it. Um, the original intended use was to make it an on-road, just daily driver uh, to get miles off of the bigger truck that's uh, for the business. <coughs> um, since it's taken so long and it's going to take much longer to get the uh, engine rebuilt and the transmission done and everything, figured I'd make an entire project, I think is the right word, um, of this entire thing. Um, I want to do it right. I want to do it to the best of my abilities. Um, of course, there are a lot of things I don't know about this. Um, I design gearboxes for a living. I took all of the engine design classes in college, so I know a lot of theoretical stuff about the engine and transmission. And the reason I wanted to jump into both of those was to get a real world application of everything. Just get my hands dirty again. My first car bought it with half of the engine in the trunk and half of the engine in the engine bay and successfully got that working and I wanted to do that again. But with this truck, it needs a lot of love, it needs a lot of proper care and it needs things taken care of correctly. I still don't have my bandsaw and that's why we haven't seen a part two of the baffle. Literally everything is sitting exactly the way it was in my garage when the end of that video was released. So what I decided to do, I am, so I've decided that I'm going to do a frame up restoration on the 1989. So that means I get to start taking stuff apart again, which I'm kind of excited about. I want to get the interior, um, just kind of see what everything looks like. So I am excited about doing that. I've started finding parts, making sure I can get everything I need for doing this. And it looks like I can get most of everything. I might have to make a custom replacement parts uh, for some things, but I'm not too worried about those. <coughs> But yeah, that's where we're gonna that's where we're gonna go with this series. With that said, um, I've cleared out a corner for the motor and all of the remaining parts to sit in the back of the garage. Um, <clears throat> I need to do a little bit of rearranging to be able to bring the truck back in here, and we'll get started by by removing the interior of the truck. Let me get some things rearranged and I will be back with an update um, when the truck is in here and I can start tearing it apart. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, there we go. Um, the truck is back in the garage and I can start working on removing the interior. The uh, first thing I'm going to do are remove the seats and then remove the center console and then remove the carpet and work my way up the walls and then around to the top. Um, I think that's going to be the approach. It'll probably change as I continue to work. But before we get started, I want to change into my coveralls and then we can get busy tearing the interior out. Okay, with that done, let's start having some fun. on me so I'm gonna sound a little bit different. The reason that looks so painful was the uh, wire that was connecting the two sides of the um, seat slide um, had broken um, and there was really no other way to get at it other than being uncomfortable. Since the uh, truck is so close to the wall and there's all kinds of stuff on that side it'll be hard to get that seat uh, passenger seat out that direction so I'm gonna take the uh, middle console out next and then I'm gonna take the passenger side out and bring it out the driver's side door. Not one, but two compartments in the center console. This is where I store my gun. Or this is where I store my gun's gun. <laughs> I 
found the Walmart gift card and it wasn't used. So let's call and see how much money's on it. seat out, the center console out, the seats out, I think it's time to start pulling back this carpet and uh, seeing what condition the bottom of this truck's in. Okay, now that we have the carpet out, um, I'd have to say that it doesn't look that bad. Um, I don't see any rust on the body on the inside. There's a bunch of old insulation that'll be replaced. There's some rust around the control for the automatic transmission, but that's going to go away with the manual. I'd have to say it really looks good in here. Um, 
All right, guys, so we're going to end the video here. I am um, sitting in the back of the truck with all of the interior removed, except for the headliner. I'll be taking that out next time, along with uh, taking out the uh, dashboard and center console and AC unit controls and steering wheel and all that kind of stuff. Been kind of sitting on this footage for a little bit. Um, had a problem with my eye. Had to wait until that was better to record this last bit and just wanted to get this video out for you all. We'll wrap this up here. Um, thank you again for watching. Um, as always, I appreciate uh, the views. I hope you all are enjoying it. Um, the whole 41 of you that are subscribed to me at this point. And I guess I will see you in the next one. Bye.